Hello, everybody's. Hello, everyone's. You just tuned in to Nisi's World. Hey, you guys. I got a couple of things I want to talk about and share with you. We had a good weekend. We kicked it. We did our thing. Work hard, play hard. That's me. I'm not glossed up. I'm not lipstick down. So be honest with y'all. My husband is in work. My kids is chilling in the cuts. Your girl been cleaning. You hear me? So I got this one little place in my room where I got stuff stacked up, stacked up, stacked up. Games, challenges, whatever, this and that. I had it stacked up to the side in hopes that we can do this and do that. But working, cooking, cleaning, washing, no. It get hard, so I made a decision, and I made a system, and I'm gonna show y'all how my system work. But before I jump into that, you guys, I wanna let y'all know this. What's up, fam? You know, I'm so excited about the To Be Honest Challenge. I just put in To Be Honest Challenge, and it took me like two years ago, three years ago. So where I thought I had created something, I really didn't, cause somebody had already thought of it, but, when I put in, to be honest, Nisi's World Challenge, I feel y'all. Thank y'all. I appreciate the love. I appreciate you opening yourself up. I appreciate the realness because some things that some of you guys said touch me. I agree. And whether y'all know it or not, we all got a lot in common. So I'm going to touch a couple of things and I'm going to tell y'all, what this big pink thing right here behind me mean to me and why I did it. First of all, I told y'all that I was not going to delete any more of my lives. Y'all went with me to my granny house. Thank y'all who was there. It was my granny birthday. It was my mother's birthday. I kind of wanted to hit one, then hit the other. I had responsibility to bring the drinks <clears throat> Sorry, I am drinking right now some energy drink. And yeah, it's a little um, late or after hours, but my, when my husband ain't here, y'all, I be trying to get it together. School finna start, I'm finna do it, you hear me? I'm cleaning out closets, I'm cleaning out my washroom, I'm on my thing. So I need my little energy drink. Mm -hmm. I pour a little soda pop in there, y'all. But anywho. Yeah. I went ahead and deleted the second part of the birthday, which was my mother's birthday. Because my mother and my brother, they support me, but they don't want to be on social media. I respect that. I'm not mad at that. What I don't like about that is the fact that because they don't want to be on it, they say things to other people about being on it. Like, you still doing that? Uh, you getting on that? It's like, ain't nobody running from the police. We good. You know? Anyways, my mama and my brother was on there. I kind of gave little people my daddy. But he cool. He with it. Didn't have no problem with it. What y'all think about my daddy? Meet the comments. Put the comments down below. I said, meet the comments, girl. Okay. Why am I always late? Your girl is always late, especially when she's taking her kids. I have to get two girls ready. So this taking a bath. Come, even if I took them a bath that night, if we finna go somewhere, I'm still gonna take them a bath. I'm still gonna come to her. If it's a family function, every family function, I don't care what it is, I gotta get a new outfit. I don't care. It's just me. I do that, okay? So I got to get them an outfit. I should do it the day before. Sometime I do. In which some occasions, Kenya may be at work. I may not have a babysitter. So the day of, your girl be just doing too much. You hear me? So when you have a lot of kids and you have to go to parties, if you have to help with a party, if the kids is involved, your girl may be late. That's whether Shah her or whether he at work. If he her, 
he should help me, but he'll play the game to the last minute. Blase, blase. If I'm invited to a party, tell me that it said two. If it really started at four, I'm just being real, letting you know. Um. Oh, my dress. A lot of y'all probably saying, Anissa, you got that ugly ass dress on. Girl, I know you fucking lying. And I'm like, shit, this comfortable. So what I do is, I, I'm in Dallas, Texas, for y'all who don't know. I go to, uh, King, what's the name of that mall in North Dallas? In uh, Grand Prairie. I go to this mall. They have a $5 store in there. I just go in there and get comfortable stuff that I can wear around the house. Because when I'm at home, I like to be comfortable. And if you see me with some little ugly, funny colored dresses, girl, I probably got it for $5. And I appreciate it. Mm. My system. When you have a large family, you always have to have a system. Where my paper at? Can you wear the green paper? In my house, I have rules and regulations. Okay? Yeah, I took it down because I want to tell y'all some of the rules. I do have rules in my house. Yeah, I just took it down. So, I have rules, regulations, and consequences. You hear me? Regulations might be consequences to some of y'all, but I write them down. The reason why I do is because I don't want to have to keep telling you the same thing over and over and over. So, this is what I just did today. I think I needed to upgrade the rules. Shaquem is not her. Some of the rules was meant for him and Kenya because they're in high school. We got Nuna who in middle school. And now we got two babies. Thank you, honey. We got two babies in elementary school. I'm going to tell y'all my rules. I'm going to share. Okay? These are my old rules. They've been on the refrigerator. And uh, I'm not finna tell you the rules because they're right there on the refrigerator. So, no TV after 10 o'clock, no matter what. Rule number one. School things together by 8. That's number two. Bath done by 9. That's number three. Some of y'all have y'all kids in a bed by 9. Mine's is 10. I'm just being honest. It is. That might be like so far gone for some of y'all. But here, it really don't even get 8 to... I mean, it doesn't get dark to after 8.30. Okay? Homework done by 7. In bed by 10. Don't put hands on kids without permission. The only one in my house that's able to discipline my kids physically is Kenya. The reason why is because she helped care for them. She calm her. She take baths. She do what she wants to do as she please. I do not make her do anything. So, by me clocking out at 11 o'clock at night, sometimes I sleep. Most of the time I sleep late. I got to get it together because I clock in at 3. I clock out at 11. So, sometimes I may sleep late. If I do, if can you hear her, she'll take on responsibility. If not, during the summer, I have to get up and wake the kids up and say, everybody, hey, clean up, you know. Um, yeah, without permission. She do not get a belt. She do not beat my kids. She may pop that butt every now and then, okay? Don't get anything out the refrigerator without permission. A lot of y'all might disagree, but me, the reason why I do that is because somebody can go in there and take out a whole rail of ground meat. They'll take out a whole roll of ground meat and they'll make their self um, a box of hamburger helper. Well, to me, I can remix it and make it a meal. So ask me before you get certain things. Now, a sandwich, a Lunchable, peanut butter and jelly, cool. Certain things you need to ask me because I may have bought it for a meal. No recording TV shows without permission. We don't got cable no more. We have fire sticks, so... I scratched that out. That's why we gotta upgrade it. <laughs> no clothes under the bed. When I say hurry up, get your room clean, then you can go outside. I know you fucking lying if you think you finna throw them clothes up under the bed, cause that's the first place I'ma look. Okay. 
clean tub up after you take a bath. The reason why, sometimes my kids will go and they'll take a bath, but it be another kid chore. And then it's like, why do she got to clean up the tub after you, after you just took a bath? You need to, if everybody clean out the tub after they take a bath, then nobody going to have to clean out the tub when they doing a chore because you the one who messed the tub up. When you get in, it's clean. When you get out, you need to clean it. Don't touch anything that is not yours. You know, me and Kenya is the only girls in the house, and uh, she will borrow things and say she don't think I got a problem with it. But not just Kenya. Nuna would do it to Shaquem. Shaquem would do it to LaDame. It's my jacket. Oh, they get into it about jackets, shoes, more Nuna than anybody, because he will really, whatever he feel like he want that day, well, if he can't ask you, he gonna get your shit. I'm just saying. Let's stop the confusion. No use of electronics without permission. So, why? If you gotta do your homework, and you need a computer, and she gotta do her homework, and she need a computer, we need to know that you own the computer for homework, not for YouTube, not for games. If you on her for games and she got to do her homework and you being selfish, you don't want to get off, it's a problem. Because nobody even told you to get out anyway. Wi-Fi, I already suck over here. I'm just saying. Don't leave anything in my car. Because they don't want to clean it out. You know? Bottom line. Stop telling unless need it be. Girl, they just tell, tell, tell. She looking at me. She touched me. She did this. She did that. Don't nobody want to hear it. Okay? It is your responsibility to wake up on time. Kenya had a cell phone. Kenya got a cell phone. Shaquem got a cell phone. Nuna got a cell phone. We got the Google. Hey, yo, Google. Hey, Google. We got Siri. Hey, Siri. Like, everybody should be able to wake they self up. Kenya wake up first and get everybody else up. And then, if they don't get up, they have phones. They should use them. Usually at 9 o'clock, I get my kids' phone, and I put them out on the charger. Nobody should be on the phone after 9. Even Kenya, and she pregnant. Uncle, don't care. After 9, nobody should be on the phone. I will put Siri and Google in their room, and they can use them as a long clock. My system. Those are my rules. I expect for my kids to stick by them. And if they don't, they probably going to have punishment or no phone. Okay? This is right here. Something a little bit different because Shaquem is not here. He's in college. But Damien is not here. He's working. But Shia is starting school. So, I want y'all to check out my chart. Now, we have, if you guys can see this well, Nene, Shia, and Shy J. <laughs> this Sharon Jr. This Nuna. Okay. I think we use up all the ends, but Shanicia, Shia, and Sharon Jr. Okay. Now, let me get a little closer so y'all can see. Yellow represent five dollars. Orange represent ten dollars. Purple represent one dollar. Green represent 50 cents. Red represent you did bad. That's the red. Red is a no-no. Okay. We have three slots. EX. That's extra. The same thing here. I just put an E. Just to make it look pretty. On Nuna. You just put anything. He too old, but he's still a kid here in middle school. So, extra good bad okay so this is the way i'm going to play that now if you do something good i will reward you i have my little box where's my little box i have my little box of sticks because right now most of my kids that's in the house are minors we have green green orange purple red blue yellow 
Each one of these colors symbolizes the money, okay? Mind you, $5, $10, $1, 50 cent. Yeah, they change add up. Especially if you made like sixteen fifty and you get a raise and it's 50 cent. Okay, you got me. Now, why did I decide to add money this time? Well, over the summer, Shia and Shanicia, they want me to buy McDonald's every time we go out. I told y'all I had just spent $500 on groceries. And then as soon as we get on the freeway and they see McDonald's, they hungry. I know they fucking lie. Uh-uh. You should have ate before you left. Now, I have had money where I would give, I give my kids allowance, you guys. So, I would give Shia $3 or I would give her $5. And I say, which one you want? She would pick the $3 before she picked the $5 because she feel like she got more. Now, this concept should kind of get Shia and Shanicia to understand the concept of money, okay? More dollars doesn't mean more money. So, that's why I went and got little play money so they can get it. Even the change, they need to know that two quarters is a dollar. I mean, I'm sorry, four quarters is a dollar. Two quarters is half of a dollar. Now, when I was little, I remember my mom saying, hey, Nisi, this is a dollar for you and your brother. Go inside and both y'all get 50 cents. Back then, with a dollar, shit, you can get a pack of now laters, 25 cent chips, um, a little Debbie snack cake, a jungle juice. Like, you could buy some shit with a dollar, you hear me? That was in my time. Nowadays, only thing you're going to get for a dollar and seven cents, you can't even buy Dr. Pepper. But they still need to know the concept, and they still need to be able to count money. This is Shia's first year in school, okay? So I want this to be a system to motivate them on getting money and also learn to count money, okay? So these sticks represent the money. They are rewards, okay? Now, I want to tell y'all how they get their rewards. To get points, they points and it ain't doing too much cuz I peep game girl I watch them if I don't do nothing else what would get you a point following rules who is to say whether that rule is yellow orange purple or green it really doesn't matter it depends if I see you following a rule and you're doing a good job I will give you whatever I want you to have at that time so number one following rules will get you a point Doing right without anyone asking you to. Doing the right thing will get you points. Making smart decisions. That'll get you a point. Respecting others. Picking up a book will most definitely get you a point. I encourage them to read. Leave electronics alone. Go get up in your books, okay? Asking to help and helping. You can ask to help, but that don't mean you're going to help. Help. That'll get you a point. Doing what you are told the first time, most definitely, will get you a point. Say yes, ma'am, and no, sir. You get points. Picking up after yourself and getting permission before you do things that you're not sure if you're supposed to do. Those are the things that will get you a point. And this is the way that it works. Now, you did something you supposed to do. We got blue, which is not up here. We're going to just pretend it's purple, $1. Okay. Shia picking up after herself. Did nobody say nothing? I don't have to talk to y'all about these points. I'm not going to discuss that. This is what I see. Okay, I see Shia. She picked up that paper off the floor and it wasn't even hers. I'm going to give her a point. Okay? Shia, you just sit up there and kick Nene. Uh-uh, I know you lying. She got a bad one. Okay? So, red is not good. This whole row is not good. 
Now, I can give you a point, but this right here is taking away a point. Now, this is for the whole week. I will never take away. If you did it, you got to deal with it. You did that. At the end of the week, I will get all your different colors that you have. And I will sit down, kid by kid. You got this. That's worth this. And I will give them money. I have these dollars. Can you do we got those dollars? Yeah. So anyway, fives, tens, one dollar fifty cents. I got a bag of these, you guys. So I will pay them whatever is in this slot. Okay? Now, I will take away whatever. If you got three, then I'm going to take away three bills. You give me which three bills you want. If you got four, I'm going to take away four bills. Whichever four bills you want. Teaching them how to count what's bigger, what's smaller. Okay? So, with that being said, yeah, they got nothing right now. So, with that being said... What would they do with these monies? What would they do with these points? You know, I, I'm going to write it down. Oh, okay. It's not for them. It's for me. So they can learn in the process. I'm sorry. I'm my throat driving on this sugar. It ain't sugar, but it feel like sugar. I'm on my little caffeine stuff. Now, after we tally up, take away, give, then take away. Next, we got this. Let me make sure y'all can see properly. Everybody get their money. They will learn. They will be excited. This is just some of the things that I have. Their prizes. We have this. This is like an Atari flashback. Uh, 20 built-in games. Two controllers. Said Walmart only. <laughs> okay. We have another one. That's for the girls, just in case it's Nuna. He the only boy. Like I said, here in middle school. The same system before a boy. Okay. We have like Discovery, Sea Creatures, whatever. It's a project for them. They'll enjoy it. Matter of fact, I'm just going to kind of show you guys and put it to the side so y'all can get a good, you know, mindset of the gifts or the rewards for the children. It's like Hocus Pocus. They can be for a boy or a girl. Okay. I know that any one of them would enjoy that. Another Discovery game. I'm sure the girls wouldn't care, but Sharon Jr. would definitely like that. We have this. It says, let me see, make sure that light is not too. Okay. Build over 100 electronic projects from 8 to 108. Batteries required. I got the batteries. So, they can make so much different kind of stuff music or whatever, an alarm, flying saucer. You can make like, a hundred different electronics with this. Okay? So, with that being said, I got these little stickies. I will write down what it's worth to me, and I will put it on there on Friday. They can buy something if they can afford to. If they cannot afford to buy it, then they just gonna have to save their money or get what they can get. That's what we go into. Oh, girl. That's what we go into, teaching them to save their money. Okay? Teaching them to count their money. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, this week is not about... This week is not about me. This week is about parenting. This week is about the kids. This week is about getting ready for school. You know what I'm saying? Um, we got pottery. So... I'm sure that's something that the girls will enjoy. Everybody likes slime. Here we go. The slime. Actually, it's called squish. So, make three squishies. Whatever. If they want it, they can do it. Wow. 
already in the box. They can win a game. They can play amongst each other. If they patch their money up, maybe two of them can afford to get it and share. I think Sharon would be the only one interested in this. It's like a little chemist set. Okay. Another creating jewelry. So I guess they got like little jewelry or whatever. You can wear them around your neck. I'm sure my girls will be interested in it because I'm usually wearing a stone around me. And I don't know why my eyes look like I'm, maybe I'm tired, y'all. I've been cleaning up all day and I'm still going. Giving away clothes, throwing away clothes, uh, salvation on me. Like I'm trying to make space. You hear me? Oh, Lord. Oh, soaps. Rainbow soaps. Whatever. I want y'all to see this. I think the girls would enjoy doing that. And maybe you can get your kids to come and watch them do it. We'll do that too. Some kind of little fishing game. Mm -hmm. In my household, we do play games. We do do family things. I want to show y'all some games that we enjoy. We like Uno. Dos. Phase 10. My absolute favorite. Dominoes. Okay. So yeah, I will play Dominoes with my kids. Also, We got Family Feud. Yeah, it got the little buzzers with it. And this is like the latest one. It's three different ones, but this is like the latest one. Okay. And this one is Can You Name Five? If you never heard of this, I really like this game. So you'll get your partners or whatever. Uh, sounds you can make with your hands. Tell me five sounds you can make. Uh, five instant foods. I guess foods you can make instantly. Five monster movies. You got a certain amount of time that you got to do it. Uh, what is that? Signs of spring, five signs of spring, just something simple like that. So, y'all can let me know how y'all feel about my system. Also, just in case y'all didn't get it because I hadn't said it yet, that was what you do to get points, okay? Taking points away, that's this the red ones, fighting will take your point away. Not doing homework would take your point away. Not following the rules. If you have... Oh, being selfish will most definitely do it for you. Not taking responsibility for your actions. That's enough for me to do that. Um, not coming straight home from school. Which means not staying at school for basketball and you didn't tell me. Or after you get off the bus... You over here, you at the park, you playing basketball, you over somebody, uh-uh. You gonna really get it if you do that. But yeah, I don't come straight home, okay? Uh, Waking up daddy, yeah. I'm gonna have to give you one of them because he work sometimes for days. And when he come home, he vent sleep. So we gonna let him rest. Missing a bus. If I gotta get up and take you to school, we gonna have a problem. Not going to bed on time. Yes, it's my responsibility to put my kids in a bed, but if I put my kids in a bed and I'm in her reading or cleaning and it's laughing or it's whatever, you gonna be in trouble and you most definitely gonna get a read. Go to sleep, mean go to sleep, okay? Being sarcastic. I cannot stand that. We not finna talk about you being sarcastic. 
but this this a pet peeve. Like I cannot stand sarcasm. You don't gotta do that. Uh, what else is this? Okay. Let's go to these extra points. That's right up in here, y'all. These E's, like I said, neither one mean more or less than the other, just so you can see. That's the third row. How can you get extra points? Doing the unexpected should get you extra points. Like, it was Ken's turn to clean the kitchen, but I did it anyway. Um, Shanice left her clothes on the floor after we took a bath, so I picked them up. Um, going out of your way for others. Daddy, you don't have to put your plate up. I'll get it. Daddy, do you want me to get you some water? Mama, you want me to put the clothes in the dryer? There you go. Oh, yeah, and each one of them can do it. They are old enough to be able to do that. Being fair. I let you watch this first. Can you let me watch mine, what I want to watch? Oh, I gave you some of my candy, so give me some vice versa. If you gonna share, if they share with you, you share with them. Whoop de whoop, however. Being fair, period. Without telling mama. If I see that you being fair, you can get some extra points. Thank you. Don't tell it. Stop telling me. Tell it, tell it, tell it. This is what my kids do all the day. Okay. Cleaning up outside. Every time Shy gonna come home. He always have something to say about why is it toys outside on the porch? Why did y'all leave cups on the porch? Why you do this on the porch? Take initiative and say, you know what? Let me hurry up and clean up the porch before daddy come home. Let me pick up the stuff by the cars before daddy come home. Or before mama come out here because you, if I come out there, it ain't going to be no giving points, no nothing. Pick it up. See, we don't have to give them anything for what they supposed to do. But I feel like if we reward them for doing certain things, then they'll be happy to do it. But that's just me. You know. I challenge you guys to show me your system and what works in your house. And if you don't have a system that you hang out on your other wall or, you know, on your dresser, let us hear about it, you know. Um... Mostly everybody watching is women. You know what I'm saying? School time is finna start. I'll BS to the side. Gotta get back on schedule. Gotta get back organized. Can you do your dinner tonight? Can you? You wanna show everybody what you cook, baby? Okay. So can you cook dinner tonight? And uh, she did a damn good job. Cause when I tell y'all I've been cleaning up, your girl been cleaning up. I mean, cleaning out the washroom, getting two little clothes. We got a baby coming. So it's like, let's get rid of everything too little. Let's get rid of everything for last year. Let's go ahead and renew it. We throwing away stuff. We need more space because a baby is coming. I thought that we're not going to be here. We're going to be in a house. We need a bigger place. Well, you guys, let me show y'all what Kenny did. Can you? Thank you for giving me the plates. Can you bring so we can share? Okay. Anywho, I thought she was gone. Yeah, so getting everything organized, trying to make room for baby. Baby is coming next month. So it's like, wow, well, we got into the 17th. We had to throw away a lot of toys. We had to uh, get the closet straightened out. And where I do live at, y'all, Paquito, little bit little bit of closet space that's one thing that i really don't like about being here okay newer places always have less closet space let me see one of these this is what kenya cooked if you can see it good rice with gravy uh mixed vegetables this one has cheese these are ribs one is bone in one is country style yes they was deep fried by kenya how you doing, kid? Rice, gravy, mixed vegetables. That's broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. And here is another one. That is deep fried as well, without the gravy. 
without um, the cheese on the veggies. Everybody don't want cheese all the time, just me. So she made them differently. If you want cheese, if you don't. If you want gravy, if you don't. So you want to tell everybody, hey? My baby did it today, didn't she? Oh, I look so bad. You want to yeah. tell me? And how did you deep fry them? What did you deep fry? What did you put them in a skillet? I'll, no, I put them in a um in the deep fryer. The fry daddy. Yeah, and I just use regular flour, season the flour, and some egg. Um. So you got your boneless and you got your bone in, and you put in an egg wash. Yeah. <laughs> Did you season it before the egg wash? Mm-hmm. Okay. Tell them how you did. Yeah. And then I season it. Season the flour. Season the eggs. Poke little holes in it so it can cook through. And that's it. That's basically it. So, here you go, baby. Yeah. So, she added a little bit of whiskers. 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 guy. Wish this girl sauce. Wish this girl. Wish this girl. You know what I'm talking about. Wish this sauce. <laughs> so, she did poke the little holes. She did season it up. And let me show y'all what we've been using for our veggies. If you can give me those three seasonings. I want to introduce y'all to some seasonings. Maybe you have them. Maybe you don't. But the reason that I'm going to do this, everybody's and everyone's, mothers, fathers, Sometimes we take in too much salt and your girl got to have blood pressure. So I'm trying not to use salt, especially if I already got one salt. They got, if I have a seasoning that has salt in it, I'm not going to use salt. If I have a seasoning that have pepper in it, I'm not going to use pepper. So why would I get seasoned salt plus salt and pepper when seasoned salt already got salt and pepper? You hear me? This is called five salts, five peppers. Five salt. I hate that glare. Okay. Five salts, five peppers. Okay. Yes, baby. You can. And it has five different salts, five different peppers. Here get your salt and pepper right here. Mainly veggies. Okay. This here is now if I can't say wish this wish this girl sauce, I sure can't say this. But whatever this is, I put it on veggies as well. Not both, one or the other, okay? Because I'm pretty sure that this, see, the first thing I see is salt, and garlic powder, sugar, um, citric acid, whatever is good on meat and veggies. Another one that I have is this. This is the mix it up. I showed y'all this when I came from the grocery store, okay? And yes, I did lose a nail. And I'm pissed off because not only did I lose this one nail, but another one is loose. But I told y'all I went to a different place this time. So yeah, your girl is turned. She just want to share this with you guys and let y'all know this week is all about the kids. We getting ready for school. Like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what system works for you. Because maybe it's something that you're doing in your home that we can do in our home, you know, and we can just get together and just make it do what it do, baby. You know what I'm saying? So, this is my situation. We will be starting this on Monday. My old rules will remain the same. Like, comment, subscribe. I see you, girl, tomorrow. Y'all see your girl tomorrow. Oh, I'm going to see my girl tomorrow too because I got to do some shout outs. When I tell y'all, to be honest, everybody page I went on, to be honest, basically had a page. Now, somebody was asking me, Nisi, did you see me sing? I don't remember seeing you sing, boo. But leave in the comments. Because if you don't have your own channel, did you do it on Instagram? Because I went through every To Be Honest challenge. And I had a lot. And on most of them that I liked it, I subscribed. And even if I didn't subscribe, I liked it. But I do want to do, like, special shout-outs to everybody who did do it. And especially some of my uh, new subbies, my new fam. So, 
tune in. I'm going to try to get y'all in again tomorrow so we can know about everybody's new channel. Because I done seen makeup tutorials. Your girl want to learn how to do it. I don't know how to do it, honey. I don't know about highlighting. But I did see friend. Shout out to friend. She was in a car and she just lit this up. Right here, real pretty. I don't know how to do that. I only wear lipstick, eyeshadow, eyeliner. That's it. But I want to start blending in. And maybe I can see my eyes looking like this. I don't really care because it's like my husband ain't here. And I'm finna put this stuff up and finish cleaning up. But I just had to get it in and let y'all know what's going on. Tell me what y'all think about my system. Okay? And also, let us know what system you use. I challenge you to. Let me know. Let us know. Maybe what worked for you may work for us. Your girl tired. She gonna have to take these clothes out the washer. Put them in a the dryer. Take the clothes out the dryer. Girl, energy drink is not working when your body is sleepy. You got to go to night-night, honey. You hear me? Love you. Peace. Good night.